Everything we believe We just see everything. Hey what's up everybody, it's your boy Mr. Cos Cos from Game Watch, you guys prefer uh, In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys how to start a successful YouTube channel And this is going to be mostly focused around how to use Twitter, how it helps you grow How to interact with other people and collab and all that fun stuff Anyways, before I get into this video, I need you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment below something nice, something about the video, any questions you have, any other videos you guys want me to make, any how-to videos, tip videos, anything. Anyways, let's get into this video. Now, basically, I noticed that um, a YouTuber who I feature on mine, he features me on his, BL, um, BL, B3, oh yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm having a complete brain fart for a moment. It's like BLP3 or something TV like that. Yeah, it's BLP3 TV. Yeah, I feature him on mine. He features me back. Anyways, he has actually grown his channel. Actually, oh crap, hit my mic. My bad, guys. I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, he's grown his channel a crap ton fairly quickly. Like he's almost at 250 subs now, and it's been like about a month since he started his channel, which I think is really rad. And I'm like, keep keep it up, dude. It's amazing how quickly they're going. And basically, he's just been interacting with people on, on Twitter. And he actually makes a very good point that way. You pretty much just focused on making front online friends and having them check out your channel. You check out theirs. You guys just sit there and create a community that way. And I've been actually wanting to do that with other YouTubers, but I haven't really had the motivation to do it. And honestly, finding seeing that he's been doing it, I've been doing it lately as well. And it's actually helped me grow in a crap ton, which I think is rad. And it's really cool. Oh, my! Also, gonna be starting a new like a uh, series coming up pretty soon. Not a shout-out series, but it's like a like a subscriber appreciation se series where if you have like a YouTube channel yourself, I will like um, it's actually between me and two other YouTubers. We're still trying to figure out the details. It's gonna be kind of cool. It's gonna help on everyone, quote unquote, grow. Um, and it should. Anyways, it just appreciates who's been active and all that. Anyways, let's get back into this video. Uh, now, pretty much you just. Talk to the people, make online friends. You could use Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, anything really to do this. But it, Twitter does help a lot more because you see more YouTubers on Twitter. And Twitter's most active time is through 9 to 3. And I've been actually growing my channel quite a bit since then. I've gained about 300 followers this month so far. And I've gained almost 70 subscribers this month compared to last month, which was 15. Now that's a crazy difference. And then the percentage of activity, because I lost 22 subscribers last, uh, 22 followers on Twitter last month, and I've gained like three, almost 300. And then now this month I've gained 15, last time on 15 subscribers on YouTube. Now almost 70 this month, which I think is crazy if you guys think of it that way. Like that's a ton of growth for mostly just using Twitter. For being active with other people, talking to other people, making friends online. Like, it's it's insane how much I've grown. On top of that, I've been using more tags. I've been using the cards. I've been changing up my thumbnails, changing up my titles, changing up how I share it. I've been sharing it on everything I possibly can. I have been doing self-promotion. I've also been using a website called Sherry. Very good website. It's um, S-H-A-R-E-E.com. Very good website. Now... It's, there's a ton of ways you can actually grow your channel on YouTube, but the, one of the best ways is interacting with other people. And also, don't forget about the three T's, title, thumbnail, and tags. You cannot forget to use tags. I use vidIQ and TubeBuddy to get the number one ranking tags, and I've noticed that it's made a heck of a difference on my channel when I, when I actually use better ranking tags. I've gotten more notices on my music mixes and on my duplication glitch videos and my how-to videos like it's it's crazy like I start popping up on the first through the third page of those searches which is insane because that gets me more chance of getting clicked on and viewed especially when you have a good thumbnail it will allow you to have even higher chances of getting clicked now to distract you guys really quick I want to talk to you guys about my vlogs and everything else I do on my channel if you guys don't mind if you guys want to skip this I'd skip about about a minute, about 30 seconds ahead of this. Anyways, I want uh, about my vlogs. I noticed my six and seven weren't that great, but this week should be a heck of a lot better, especially after the third of November. I should be getting my um, GoPro Killer, which will allow me to record about in 4K or at 1080p at 60 frames per second, which I'll probably go with 1080p at 60 frames because that looks a lot better than 4K at 30. 
I don't know, haven't decided yet fully. So I know 4K does take up a lot more memory than 1080p, and it takes up a crap ton. But we'll all see what happens with that. Just know the vlogs will be getting a lot better quality, and they will become a lot better themselves. Anyways, let's jump right back into this tip video. Now, um, what I use what I use mostly for tips is vidIQ. It helps a crap ton. I you can I can I go to other people's channels. I see what is popular on theirs. Mostly a lot a lot lately how to channels like Zyovo, Muaz, and and hmm how to. Been looking at theirs, seeing what is blowing up on their channel, getting all those views per hours, and I've been doing something similar to theirs but in my own way. That's another great way to grow is making sure your channel is unique and that you, a lot of times you see someone who doesn't interact with your audience. Like Zyova, his channel has pretty much died since he hasn't interacted with his audience. Now I want to change up mine where I actually do interact, where I want to grow with you, where we grow together, not everyone where everyone's struggling. That's not a competition. You want to grow, make a community together, grow, everyone grows together. Don't make it a competition. That's one of the bad ways. You're gonna collab with someone. Make sure you're both growing, not just you. But there are some cases where you kind of have to focus on yourself. But it's given with every circumstance. Now, anyways, if you guys are this far in the video, please hit that like button, comment something you guys want me to make or talk about or anything. Honestly, um, if you guys like this gameplay of Skyrim, I personally love it. I think Skyrim is one of my, is one of my favorite games. I enjoy this game a lot. Anyways, I have a ton of the videos on my channel. Don't forget to check those out. I will see you guys next one. Have an amazing day. Peace out, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Yeah.